My name is Ellen Berkland and I'm the staff archaeologist for the Department of Conservation and Recreation. And this island, Spectacle Island, is partially managed by and owned by DCM. Ellen, you've been coming out here from way before when I had been being a federal right? Tell me a little bit, what's the coolest thing you ever had? Oh boy, I was here to do the archaeology prior to the capping and the filling of spectacles. So I have very fond memories coming out here on a tugboat uh, and excavating uh, hundreds of test pits across the island and finding artifacts, things that people dropped accidentally or purposely left going back thousands of years ago all the way to the more recent past. Um, one of my fondest memories is actually interviewing some of the people that lived on the island when it was an um, active uh, dump back in the 30s. There were families out here. Um, there was actually a schoolhouse out here and I was able to come in and interview um, the, the children of the island caretakers, the people that worked on the scows at the plants and it was it made the island come alive. Tell me one story about one of the families. Oh boy. Um, it was extremely poignant. Um, there were three sisters. Uh, they were the daughters of one of the caretakers and uh, their mom passed away on Mother's Day. They were quite young. And they, um, they're in relaying the story, it was so obvious that their connection to this place, to Spectacle Island, their home, um, was, well, oh my word, I, I don't even know how I can, okay, stop. No, just Okay, stop. no, no, it was, I remember um, the details from one of the sisters and she didn't remember her mom dying. She remembered staying at the teacher's house and the teacher, she had this very clear recollection of having a claw foot bathtub with a chrome basket in it. And she thought to herself, when I get older, that's what I want is a clawfoot tub and a chrome basket. And this was her association with the day that her mother passed and was removed from the island. Um, they had detailed stories about uh, shipwreck on the island. They had detailed stories about um, their friends uh, in the island community, uh, taking a rowboat over to visit friends on another island, skating when the harbor froze over. Um, just, uh, it was a whole nother lifestyle, a whole nother way of life back in the 30s and 40s. Another favorite story uh, was interpreted through the archeological evidence of uh, some artifacts we found in a shell midden on the south side of the island. Well, we excavated one over 100 one by one meter units uh, in this trash dump, which is a compiled of um, shells, clam shells, quahog, oyster that had been eaten and thrown out and, and displaced. So uh, in analyzing the artifacts that came out of it, we found hickory nuts. And um, a colleague of mine, a palynologist, the person who studies pollen in the archaeological record, pollen has identifiable coats or cortexes, determined that Spectacle Island had no hickory trees. So what's the story? People thousands of years ago were coming over here to the island, using it seasonally from April to November, coming over here to exploit the resources, to fish, to hunt um, waterfowl, to hunt deer, to gather tubers and roots and plants, and they brought the hickory nuts over as a trail mix, as someone who would bring over nuts today just like 